We're on Jazz Street. Please state your names for the record. Daniel Loomis. Ernesto Cervini. <laughs> Browning out the Joel Fromm Trio. Welcome back to town, Dan. For you, you've been here a couple of times. This is a, a big homecoming for me, man. Walking into Eastman, seeing Kilbourne Hall, seeing that big building, you know, being in, on these streets, going to Java's. I'm about to get a health cookie after this. <laughs> It's an amazing homecoming, yeah. Talk about your time here and uh, the professors you had and the memories you had when you lived here in Rochester. Oh, man, I mean, this was a transformative place for me, hands down. I mean, getting to study with Jeff Campbell, Rich Thompson, Clay Jenkins here, and then, you know, getting to see amazing music at Java's, my, my peers playing there once a week. It was, being in Rochester was unforgettable, so it's amazing to be back here. Who were some of the folks that you went to school with? during your time here? Um, I was here with uh, the members of the Respect Sextet, so Josh Rudner, Red Waringa, Eli Asher uh, were my good buddies. And then um, and I had a quartet with Brian Van Arsdale and Nathan Helene who were here at that time. And so yeah, I still have a lot of connections to that, that group of people. Talk about the Eastman family. Uh, well, Eastman has been a big family for me. I mean, I knew Jeff before I came here and he welcomed Jeff Campbell, my bass instructor, before I came here and he really welcomed me in and um, when I got here, I felt that from the staff. I felt that there was like a really cohesive group that uh, was very nurturing. Like the, the the love I felt from Jay, I'm sorry, sorry, Clay Jenkins and Rich Thompson and Bill Dobbins was uh, really inspirational and really helped me develop as a musician. And then this young man swinging in from from Toronto, Ernesto Cervini. Ernesto, welcome back. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. So you you have a different you have a number of different roles musician, producer, promoter. So the question is why <laughs> for you? <laughs> uh, it's just different stuff to stay involved in the music. I mean, I love I love playing, you know, most of all, but then um, st I, I, starting the publicity company just kind of happened organically and, and it's great to help other musicians get their music out there because not everyone uh, is able to do that part of the business. It's, there's a lot, there's a lot to do. So um, yeah, it was just, it's something that kind of fell into my lap and I ran with it. So on the promotional side, what advice would you give aspiring promoters? I want to promote my friends, I hear this music, I want to do what I can to make sure people hear it whenever they can. So what advice would you give folks who want to get into your world? Uh, I think the most important thing is to, um, you know, just start developing relationships with, with different people who, who play music and who write about music, because th that's where you want to get the music to. You want to get it, make sure it gets into ears and, and gets in front of the eyes of people who are interested. So you have to start getting in touch with people who work on radio and people who work in the press and, and just making, making relationships and, and uh, yeah, and then you go from there. So cool. So, gentlemen, welcome back to Rochester. Two sets, Wilder Room. Yep. Six and ten. Get ready. Yeah, thank you so much.